The Farmer's Almanac recently revealed their weather predictions for this winter, forecasting a frigid and snowy season similar to what we experienced last year. This prompted Naperville News 17's Alyssa Bohenick to take a look at our current weather patterns and see what's ahead. They talk all about global warming. Well, where is the global warming? I, we don't see it. It's, it's like going the other direction. Many people have been puzzled by the cooler temperatures we've seen this summer. With only five days reaching 90 degrees from June through August, compared to about 12 last year. But while some are enjoying the milder temperatures, folks at the Farmer's Almanac are warning the trend could continue later into the year, leading to the refrigeration. This chilling news has many residents worried about the winter to come. Last winter was brutal and too cold. And if it's going to be like that again this year, I'm not looking forward to it. I just guess we'll just have to get some warmer clothes, get some more shovels, and just get ready for the long haul. But meteorologists at the National Weather Service say not to go shovel shopping just yet. You do have an outlook that kind of has that same idea of not really a strong signal yet for what we're exactly going to see. The, the main thing that we're keen on is what's called an El Nino episode in the tropical Pacific, which refers to uh, um, above normal water temperatures in the, in, the, uh, in the central and eastern part of the uh, tropical Pacific. And uh, the question is, will it develop and what sort of impact will it have on our weather? Changes in the waters aren't the only signs meteorologists look for. What's happening in the air can also influence winter weather. Part of what impacts uh, our winter temperatures is uh, the presence of higher, higher than normal atmospheric pressures at the upper levels uh, over the, uh, the Arctic region and, and near Greenland. And when there's higher than normal atmospheric pressures in those areas, that tends to favor the jet stream buckling south and favoring more incursions of cold air into our area. Though the threat is present for a cold winter, only time will tell how drastic it could be. We'll be looking at things much closer as we get deeper into the fall in terms of uh, how our winter will shape up. And if it's going to be cold like last year, we just, you know, we had some thoughts that it could be, but not that it would be historically cold and snowy winter. The warm temperatures are here now, but the National Weather Service reminds us that they can change quickly, so get out there and enjoy them while you can. Reporting from the Riverwalk, Alyssa Bohenick, Naperville News 17. The city has already budgeted $2.9 million for snow removal and salt deposits for this winter and will adjust the budget if necessary.